फ्रेंड्स दिस मोटर आई हैव वेन दिस मोटर इज रनिंग आई वॉन्ट दैट दिस मोटर मस्ट रिमेन ऑन फॉर फाइव मिनट्स एंड वेन फाइव मिनट्स आर कम्प्लीटेड दिस मोटर मस्ट टर्न ऑफ ऑटोमेटिकली दिस मोटर आई हैव विल रिमेन ऑफ फॉर टू मिनट्स आफ्टर टू मिनट्स दिस मोटर मस्ट टर्न ऑन ऑटोमेटिकली दिस मीन्स मोटर विल रिमेन ऑन फॉर फाइव मिनट्स एंड रिमेन ऑफ फॉर टू मिनट्स दिस साइकिल मस्ट गो ऑन कंटिन्यूसली अंटिल आई डोंट टर्न ऑफ मोटर बाय माई सेल्फ For this motor to remain on for a particular time and to remain off for a particular time I need to use a timer. This device is not called as timer actually it is known as flasher relay. Through this relay you can turn on or off any device for a particular time. So this flasher relay I have connection of this relay is very simple. What you have to do simply is A1 A2 terminal of this relay at this terminal phase supply and here neutral supply is to be connected after this at this terminal we connect wiring for contactor it means a simple connection is there you can see this connection here also in this way you have to do the connection this circuit diagram looks very simple i mean by looking at this anyone finds this connection so easy but when you are going to connect this relay with any starter then you will face a lot of challenges what kind of challenges let's understand this connection i done here this connection is of dol starter it means by pressing start push button motor turn on and by pressing stop push button motor turn off now with this starter i have to do connection of this relay so for connection i need to be careful that this relay i have to this relay power supply should always be there i mean when i press start push button then to this relay power supply should be supplied always and through auxiliary contact of this relay this contactor will be turned on and off contactor turned on means motor turned on to turn on contactor through this we have to make changes in connection first of all make connection of this starter after that how to connect this we will understand this also i done connection through dual starter so i am making a circuit diagram here this is my contactor to turn on this contactor a start push button is used and to turn off contactor stop push button is used power supply will flow from here to start push button and from here power supply goes to a1 terminal of contactor provide neutral supply to a2 terminal directly and phase supply will come from here so here i connected a phase supply after this to hold this contactor i am making a holding circuit here so according to this whole connection wiring of starter is done now this dual starter here i have to do modification of this starter for modification what i need to do this relay here at a1 a2 terminals of relay we have to provide power supply i am making a symbol of this here in this way symbol of this is made draw like this this will be a1 and this will be a2 provide neutral supply to a2 terminal directly now to provide phase supply at a1 terminal what we will do this stop push button here take power supply from output terminal of this and directly from here provide power supply in this way if i directly provide power supply like this then by pressing start push button contactor will turn on and along with this power supply goes to this relay also it means relay turns on and off again and again and nonc contact of this i am making contact in this way this one is nc and this one is no when relay turns on then this contact here will change but through this contact i have to turn on this contactor connection which is done here in this connection if i press start push button first of all this contactor here will turn on so i need to remove this connection from here in place of contactor i have to use relay which relay relay of this type this glass relay you can see i need to connect this relay here so that through start push button i can turn on this and through stop push button i can turn off this relay when this relay is turned on after that nonc contact of this relay like here is no and here is nc so through no contact to this relay here we will provide power supply so what i need to do this circuit here i need to break this circuit i mean i will remove this wire after removing the wire i will use no contact in between this no contact is of this relay so i am writing here no contact of relay is this one so through no contact of relay only power supply will go to flasher relay i am writing here flasher relay after this much connection what will happen when i press start push button first of all this relay will turn on and when it turns on 
anode contact of this will convert into NC. It means this circuit will close and power supply will move forward. And to this relay, power is supplied. If this flasher relay receives power supply, then in this condition, what happen is this NONC contact here will change. What we will do, this NC contact here or NO contact also, among these two by using any one to our main contactor, this one, to this contactor provide phase supply. How to do it? Let's understand. What I will do is make a symbol of contactor. This is a symbol of contactor. Now I will provide neutral power supply to contactor directly from here and phase supply to this contactor will be provided from NO contact of this relay. Now in the contact of this relay, there is a common terminal. This terminal here is common terminal. Power supply to common terminal will be supplied from output terminal of stop push button. It means from here power supply is going to relay and from here only provide power supply to this point. To this contact the power supply which is going if we want we can provide from here also. For now I provided power supply from here. After this much connection this relay I have through this relay this contactor will be turned on and off again and again according to the time we set in this relay. For now what I will do same as the circuit diagram I am doing practical connections here. I mean first of all I will remove this contactor and connect this relay over there. Through this relay I will provide power supply to flasher relay and through this power is supplied to this contactor. So according to this circuit diagram whole connection is completed. Before turning on the motor, in this relay, how to do the programming of this timer, let's understand this also. Friends, in your flasher relay, you will find total two options for programming. One is on time and second is off time. Now in this off time, you will get two knobs. And in on time also, there are two knobs. First knob is for range selection, like 10 seconds, 100 seconds, 10 minute, 100 minute, 10 hour and even 100 hour option is given here. Whatever time you want to set, you can select that time range here. For now, I want that this motor here will remain on for 10 seconds. So I am selecting 10 seconds time range here. Now this knob here, I am selecting this to 10 because I want 10 seconds time here. Now to turn off this motor, I am setting time as 5 seconds. So here 10 seconds time is already selected. Rotate this knob and select 5 seconds. For 5 seconds it will remain off and for 10 seconds motor will remain on. Ok, programming is done now. Let us look at the working also. I am turning on this MCB. After turning on MCB, if I press start push button, then you can see motor is gone to on condition. When motor turned on and time is completed, motor turned off automatically. For 5 seconds it will remain off, after this motor again turned on. You can see indication of relay is also blinking. If I want to turn off motor permanently then simply what I will do this stop push button here I will press this. On pressing this motor will go to off condition. If I press start push button motor will turn on and this motor will remain on till the time I programmed here. When time is completed motor will turn off. Friends if you want more videos like this from me then comment on this video. In the comment give details that on which topic you want a video. I will make a video on your suggested topic. Ok then let's end this video here. Thanks for watching this video.